Now, this is kind of the fun part about this job. I was reading the Wall Street Journal the other day, and I'm reading about this 11-year-old sportscaster. So I thought, well, this looks interesting. So I called the TV station in our town, and they sent us a tape. And here, here take a look at it. You should take a look. Oh, any time now. Hello, and welcome to Downside. This week, we're at the Bixby Bowl for the Parochial League Championship between St. Andrews and Blessed Sacrament. <laughs> In the second half, the Spartans' defense stopped Blessed Sacrament on fourth and two. When the offense took over, they took it down the field and quarterback Andy Kurtzy carried it around end for the touchdown. The only thing in his way was a large pine tree, which didn't matter because St. Andrews won the title 14 to zero. Please welcome Maria Sansone. Well, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Now, before we talk about the TV show and all that stuff, maybe where are you from and uh, what, what grade are you in? I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. And I'm in sixth grade, and I go to St. Andrews School. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And what, what are your favorite subjects in school? Um, I like math, because it's challenging. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I like science. I don't like reading out of the book and stuff, but I like doing the labs. Oh, the lab stuff is good, making okay. stuff blow up and things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you like math, though? And... Yeah. See, I always hated math because it was challenging. Yeah, see, I like, I like the stuff you could kind of lie your way through. You could ask a question like, so when did the Indians really do stuff in America? And then the teacher would talk for like an hour and you could get out of it. You know? Yeah. Did, have you always wanted to be a sportscaster? Is this something? Um, no, not really. No, I mean, I, I mean how did it kind of happen? It... Okay. I tell this to a million people every day. Okay. All right. so... Well, now you can tell it to like nine million people. <laughs> okay. So we'll start from the beginning. Okay, we'll start from the beginning. Okay. I was at a local basketball game in Erie. Mm hmm And um, there's a contest at halftime where it's, a, it's called a slam jam contest. Sure, sure. It's like a slam dunk contest. Right. And they picked two girls and two boys from the audience. Right. And I was chosen to be one of the girls. Right. Not a boy. Right, right. I can understand. I'll be... So, um, so I slammed it and I won the contest. And Mike Gallagher from Erie, I'd just like to say hi to Mike because he couldn't make it today. Oh, okay. But anyway, Mike Gallagher um, from WJET in Erie interviewed me. Mm hmm And um, the station really liked me, so they thought it would be a neat idea to have a kid sports reporter. So that's really how it all started. I mean, is it easy for you? I mean, you don't seem like the shy type. You come right out and you seem friendly and everything. I mean, is it something you just took to right away? Did you, did you study? Did you do a lot of training and... Things like that, you just start talking, I guess. No, yeah, I just sat down and <laughs> read it, and that's it. Well, what's the most fun for you? Is it interviewing other kids? Is it interviewing, you know, grown-up athletes? Or um, I like doing the kids more than the stars because I really don't even know them. I interview Jim Kelly, and, you know, I right. really don't know these stars. But I interview, um, like, you watch the tape, right. the kids' football. Right, right. That, that's interesting, you know. Kids like to watch kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you did Jim Kelly. What other athletes? Um, I did Bill Cower, mm -hmm. the um, head coach for the Steelers. Right, right. And I'm I mean, how do they react to you? You come, do they do they go, no, what's this, a little kid interviewing no, me? No, they treat me really good, yeah? like yeah. I was an adult interviewing them. Do you study up for us? Do you read about them? Or do you just do you make um, up your own questions, or do they write no, them for you? Um, Mike Gallagher writes, usually writes the questions. Right, right. But I can change them when I want, because... You know, I know what a kid would like to be asked yeah. and how they're going to respond. If it's going to be a one-word answer, I'm going to say, we're going to have to change this yeah, so yeah. that th they're going to really talk. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I could use you on my staff, actually. Uh, <laughs> there. Uh, come to think of there may be some openings up soon, actually. That, no, no, the... Uh, so that's pretty good. So what kind of things do kids like to, to be asked that's different than, than adults? Um, they just, you know... How they got how they got started and how many how many years mm -hmm. they've been doing it. And yeah. They like to talk about themselves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, brag about themselves. Kind of like adults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how about your friends at school? Do they? Is this like really a neat thing or? They they're really nice. Yeah. They, I've, they're always asking me, well, "What are you doing next?" Oh, you have to get me on too. Yeah, you can put your friends on. Yes. Now, is this a career you'd like to go into? You seem pretty natural. I mean, would you like to be a broadcaster or maybe? Um, not really. I was kind of planning on being a dermatologist. Oh, that's pretty good. That, that's a Russian astronaut, isn't it? No, no, that's a... Uh, now, why, now, why dermatology? Now, that's just... Because, you remember how I told you in science, I like doing the labs and things right. like that? Right. Well, in dermatology, you can uh, 
do look at cells through um, microscopes. Right, right. And I always want to work with people and be some kind of doctor. Yeah. And dermatology is being a doctor, but it's not like you're o you're not always on call like you right. would be. Like so you have surgeon. a lot of time off. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Already, you haven't even you haven't even gone to school yet. You're already planning your retirement, your vacation. Yeah. Now somebody said you wanted to ask me some questions. Okay. Um. Let me think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. In Erie, I get. Um. I'm known now in Erie. Right. And I walk around, and people recognize me on the street. Right. Now you're national. Mm -hmm. Do people recognize you everywhere you go? Uh, especially in Erie, they recognize me. <laughs> oh, well, people recognize you, but people are always friendly. See, the nice thing is, we, we have a similar thing in that we get recognized as who you are. Yeah. You know, if I was like a character in uh, Four Eyes and Six Guns, and people would think, <laughs> see, people would think I was a gunslinger. Like, I have friends that, like, that, that play tough guys, and so if they go places, other guys want to fight them or they want to prove how tough they are, but mm -hmm. to me, People always know me as Jay. They don't know me as, you know, oh, there's Mr. Willikers from Who Got the Butter or some other show. <laughs> so they know me kind of, just like they know you as your name. You're not, you know, you're not the girl on Lassie. You're, you're who you are. So, so that makes it pretty easy. But, oh, we got to get... All right, well, listen. Listen, I hope you uh, continue... I, I hope you become a dermatologist, but I think you'd be a real good, uh, a real good uh, broadcaster someday. You're a very nice young lady. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Maria Samson.